Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Levia67 in the one minute pool on ICC. I got thrashed in my last session that I posted yesterday. Um, easily the worst bullet session I have in recent memory. So we'll try something different this time around. Um, <laughs> as far as this opening goes, I'm going to play Knight C2 just to make sure his uh, D5 push doesn't hurt me too bad. But yeah, I'm going to try to keep it quick, keep my play light, and I don't know, fresh. <laughs> and we'll see if I can improve my result. Okay, I have good pressure on d5 right here. Uh, okay, he's just sacking a pawn. His position's already really pretty bad. He just resigned. Okay, well, that's one way to get out of a, a slump. So I started the session off with a win. Yeah, in this line, they do want to push d5. But d5 here might be a bit mistimed. I think knight c2 is like completely directed against that move. So I, I like this. See who we got in the pool tonight. I'm at 2477. Uh, as long as we're waiting for a game, let's take a look. Steklo boy. What is he going to throw at us, Steklo boy? Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I'm a little under the weather. I have like a cold that just came on today. So, mm, that's a free rook right there. And that is a free pawn I can take. This guy resigned too. <laughs> okay. My luck is turning around. Yeah, bishop e4, I threw that in because uh, I tried to get him to play like a weakening move, like f3. Then maybe I could have played queen h4 check. Gone from there. Yeah, I don't get sick too often, knock on wood. But, um... Yeah, I'm experiencing a cold right now. I get sick maybe once a year. I'm lucky. But sleep schedule hasn't been amazing lately, and it is winter here in Minnesota. So, um, you know, it's kind of bound to happen at some point. Even with the most hardy of immune systems, nobody is incapable of getting sick. Okay, I'll play D4 this time. I've been playing too many games with Knight F3. Steklo boy. I can't tell if this guy's lagging or what. Like why the time isn't starting right away. Okay, we'll just play... We'll go bishop g5. Is he going to play the Cambridge Springs? He is. Ooh, okay, if that one... I think I'm supposed to... Hmm. We have like a QGD position, but an unorthodox one. I'll just go a3, see if I can get him to take. Does not take. Well, I gotta think my um, minority attack is much further along than it usually is now. I mean, I very much like this. Usually it takes white longer to prepare this whole um, A3, B4 business. Okay, I see a tactic now that I can go for. I can take on D5. Ooh, he didn't even take back. Now I'm gonna win a couple pawns. Yeah, this is just absolutely fantastic for us. I'll go h4 next if I can. Kick his knight away. Check. I'll give a check. He's going to bail check. out towards the center. Um, eh, I guess I'll go here. Play bishop e4. Just make sure g2 doesn't become too weak. Let's swing this guy over here. Create threats against a7. Hmm. Time warning. Rook c6 maybe. And then I could take on e6 if he moves. Uh, okay, and he resigned. All right, I'm happy with that game too. 3-0 and to start this session. Haven't faced anybody super high rated yet. Both those guys were in the 2200s. Let's see again who we're up against in the pool today. Numantino versus Sabermetrics. Who's Numantino? Anonymous GM. Yeah, it's very sad I fell out of the, the best list for um, one minute. Because I got absolutely annihilated last session at the hands of um, Sergei Zigalko and Erwin Labi. Wolf and Serzik. So, I don't think either of those guys are playing right now. <laughs> Serzik especially is really good. 
Okay, this is a dude I played before. Let's go G6. Jinji? Jinji Indian? Nope. No Jinji. Okay, Check. I like this line too. This is kind of fun to play. I'm going bishop e6, trying to attack c4. This is fun. I think I'll go, uh, let's go b6. Uh, doesn't that drop a pawn? No, it does not. No, it does not. Okay, I'll do this, and then I'll put the knight on e5 and try to get into c4, because that looks like just a fabulous square for this knight. Um, okay, well, I'll keep our king in the center. I don't want him going uh, bishop there, so... Trade queens with me. If he trades queens, this is over. I'll take here. I guess I'll just push my b-pawn. Yeah, he's in desperation mode. This b-pawn has a life of its own. Check. And I can hide my king on g7. Here's nine. All right. Getting close to 2,500 again. I wasn't meaning to play, meaning to play knight f3, but it just happened. Oh, knight c6. I was ready to play the boring old exchange variation, but he denied me. This line is a little bit better for me. Uh, let's go queen a4. Seems pretty easy to play, too. Maybe knight t5 if I get a chance? Maybe. If I take on d8, maybe I have I stand a chance of winning the a7 pawn. I can put his queen on b4, but I can take on c6 if he does that. Um, let's go here. Hmm. I'll try to play a3. I think I win a piece. That's funny. Although I'm not actually threatening to take his bishop because he could take back. Yeah, and my queen gets trapped. That's that's amusing. Um, let's go. Let's go f3 first, and then here. Ah, oh, this, <laughs> this is really annoying. Um, I don't know what to do against that. Check. Okay, I think I can take this now. And then go here. Check. Um, Time warning. Let's go king up. I'm going to do a king raid. Oh boy, this could get dicey. Check. Huh. Check. Check again. Check. Just threaten mate. It is nabby thing because I'm threatening queen g7 and queen takes h7. Alright, got a little fortunate at the end. I think that maybe wasn't going my way when my queen was trapped on... Uh, a4. But we'll take it. The train keeps rolling. The wind train. Draw. You offered a draw? Why? wonder if that was a mouse slip. Let's go c5. Check. Mm, better take with the uh, bishop. I hope I'm not running into tactics down the, the file, the D file, that is. I'm just going to go knight g6 next move. Huh. Maybe now I can do a little minority attack, a5, a4. Hmm. I want to minority attack him. Create a weakness if I can. Let's go here, see if I can get him to take. He really wants to trade with me. But, he does not know that I am not a merchant. And I'm not in the trading business. Okay, let's see if I can win a pawn now. Maybe Check. I can win a pawn. Time more. He did thwart that attempt, but I think I'm winning that pawn. Check. Check. Hmm. Um, let's go here. Do check. a check there. Better make room for our 
king to come up. Check. What is that? Check. Okay. Check. Hmm. Check. Nah, nah. Check. Ooh, <laughs> that was a funny checkmate. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what to do when he played rook g3, the desperation move. I like, I stumbled for a second, but I got the lucky checkmate with uh, pre-moved queen f4. All right, Atosh again. I don't know why he kept offering me draws. Is that just part of his confusion strategy? Or did he legitimately have to go? Apparently not, because he's playing another game. So, who knows? Um, all right, bishop g5 again. Sure. Another Cambridge Springs. Nope. This is kind of like an inferior QGD, I believe. Not like hugely so, but I think white's pretty comfortably better in this position. Go a4. Just see if we can cause some damage to his queen side. a6 is annoying for him to contemplate. Am I lagging or something? I get the feeling I'm lagging. Maybe not. I don't know. Now I'll try to play e5. Boy, his pieces are becoming pretty bad. Um, let's maneuver this knight in to e4 and then into d6 perhaps, or c5. Okay, go here. He's got, I've got to have something good. Lee, I'm going to go pick up his c6 pawn. We'll have to settle for that. I do not understand this lag issue. Okay, now I'm winning either a pawn or an exchange. Uh, yeah, I win the exchange now. Let's go here. Plan is rook a5. I don't think he can stop that. He can only hope to control it. Now I'm going to make a lift move, like g3 somewhere. Yeah, g3 looks good. Attack that pawn on. Yeah, let's go here. We're getting in this way and Check. attacking f7. Check. This is decisive. Mating Time net. Warning. Mating net. I think I have him in a mating net. Oh no. Okay. But I have this. Check. Um, okay, let's go here. He's being Check. very annoying. Check. Check. Very annoying. I flag him. Okay, so winning streak going on. I don't know what number that is, but let's just keep playing. Fire Tiger. This is a guy I played in Blitz before. I think he's an FM. Oh, I'm really stuffed up. I'm sorry, guys. It's just one of these colds where like it hurts to swallow. So that's that's annoying. Uh, let's go here. Make him work for my bishop pair. Now I'm threatening knight takes g4. Obviously, he sees it. Um, all right, rook c8. Hmm. Just do this. Maybe e5 is interesting. Bishop c5. If he castles, I can take on h3. So now I'll reroute my knight. I'll bring it here. Oh, that was not good. That dropped knight. He could have taken it. Whoops. Let's go g5. Shut down his play. Rook into d3. Nah. King e7. Uh, let's take this guy. Rook d8 coming. His pieces look kind of ridiculous right now. They look a little bit strange. Oh, what to do? Let's just take that pawn. 
Time um, warning. Let's check. give it a check. Check. Can tick check. there. That's true. Yeah, this is bad. I think I'm losing this. Check. I gotta run check. now. Check. Run with my king. Check. Um, okay. Alright, resign. Let's see if we can get Fire Tiger again. <clears throat> I'll play Knight F3 against him. He has these like weird systems he plays. Um, we well, didn't play it this time though. Go to Chuck. But yeah, he has these little systems he likes to do. Uh, let's go back to E2. Usually they play the bishop back to d6 soon in this line. Play queen b3. Mm, d5? Check. I think I'm winning a pawn now, huh? Looks like it. Looks like it. Let's trade some stuff. Let's trade a bunch of stuff. Bring our king up. Up and into the position. Let's cramp him a little bit. He's trying to play ambitiously. First we like provoke some weaknesses. And then maybe I'll go here. Check. Getting in. Slowly but surely. Time. I do not want to draw. <clears throat> okay, so I won that game. He's going to let his flag run out. See if we can get him again. He likes this system, it seems. Okay. Isn't that premature a little bit? Pushing b5? Seems like it just loses a pawn for him. Does it not? Maybe he knows something I don't. I guess I'll just do this. Let's go knight back to d7. I, mean, I think I'm just up a pawn. <laughs> Bishop b4 looks annoying. I'm gonna go here. This position looks fantastic. Whoa. Let's give a check first. See what he's up to. Bring my knight into c4. He's very defensive. Yeah, this is this is really bad for him. He's just losing the house. He got too eager with b4, b5. Hmm. I wonder if he's gonna time down again. Um I guess I'll just do this and then play b4. Check. Give a check there. Sure. Check. Can barely move. Check. 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 Checkmate. All right, so we got the checkmate off. Let's see if we can play Fire Tiger again. It seems to be the best available opponent in the pool right now. If I only lost one game this session, seems to be the case. I'll play a couple more.
Let's see. Yeah. All right, only one like one loss this session. Play two more games. Let's see if anybody's in here. These two GMs still going at it. I want Fire Tiger again. Esserman. Is this Mark Esserman? He is an IM, so you'd think he'd have IM next to his name. But he doesn't. Exchange Kings Indian. I'm going to get a lot of people hating me pretty soon because I play the Exchange Kings Indian all the time. I predict it'll happen. People will start rebelling. <laughs> Now, if bishop takes d5, I have to remember to play rook c8. This guy actually knew what I was up to with that, so. Mm, I'll go here. Maybe rook in. Can I pick up f6? Uh, I won't have a chance to. That's a shame. I think I'm still, like, maybe a tiny bit better. Let's take... Go knight c4. Maybe I can maneuver this knight to d5. Still feel like I'm slightly better. Ever so slightly better. a3 he can liquidate. Um, okay, let's go here. My king's coming up. Hmm. Let's take that. I'm getting this move in. Hmm, that's annoying. B2 needs to be protected. Time. Check. Check. Hmm, I didn't take that pawn. Check. Uh oh. Oh, he has rook c7, but didn't see it in time. I think I can do this. And then b4. Check. Annoying for him. He resigned. Okay. All right, one more game. I wonder if this is Esserman. I mean, <laughs> his name implies that, but very well is not him. It could just be some friend of his or somebody else who is a fan of Mark Esserman. So, one more game. I really needed this session after uh, that beating I took yesterday. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Hmm, Sanjum. Maybe I'll get Sanjum once he's done with this game. Looks like Black is winning this position, or close to it. Rook a3 would be good. Now White has a bunch of annoying checks, but Black can run towards the A-pawn. Yeah, he'll run over here. Yeah, the time differential is too huge. All right, so I did get Sanja last game. Make it a good one. I'll play h6 this time. It's the same move that Lavi played against me. That queen b3 move. Ooh, d5, interesting. Gotta be kind of careful here. Um, go queen f4. He can take and really mess up my pawns, however. This does not bode well. Need my bishop to cover these weak squares. Um, he's getting knight e5 on the next move. I guess I'll take this way. Yeah, that pass pawn is a beast, though. Check. Can he defend it, however? I don't know if he can. D7. Doesn't look like he can. F4, maybe? I'm going to try to win it outright without giving up my F-pawn. Please pay rookie 2 so I have that. He didn't. I have great king activity now. Check. Check. Let's just push the C-pawn. Check. 
Check. Check. Um, this should be winning, right? Check. I think he had king e1, one. actually. King e1 was a possibility. All right, he resigned. Yeah, if he had played, where was it, right here? Instead of h6, if he plays king e1, how do I win? Because then rook b1, king d2, and he catches the pawn. So my, my technique might have been a little shoddy there. All right, well, time to tabulate the results of this session. This is a good one. So we played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games, and I went 10 and 1. Okay, rating shot up from, what, 24 something? Uh, let's say 2475 ish to 2546. Okay. Almost repaired the damage from uh, yesterday. <laughs> so I'm right underneath Wolf, Wolf on uh, the best list. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you have any feedback, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.